Manchester United star wins 2023 Globe Soccer Player Career Award. Manchester United midfielder Case Miro has won the 2023 Globe Soccer Player Career Award. The Brazilian is attending this evening's Globe Soccer Awards in Dubai where he was presented with the award. Case Miro, who has missed most of the season due to injury, was seen on stage collecting his award which celebrates his illustrious career. He is joined at the ceremony by his wife Anna Mariana Case Miro. The 31-year-old was joined by a series of football superstars on Friday evening, with Case Miro spotted shaking hands with his former Real Madrid and United teammate Cristiano Ronaldo. Case Miro linked with Cristiano Ronaldo reunion in Saudi Pro League. Al Nasser have been linked with a move for Manchester United midfielder Case Miro. According to Foot Mercado, the Saudi Pro League side are aiming to sign the experienced Brazilian midfielder at the request of Cristiano Ronaldo. The pair played together at Real Madrid before a second spell as teammates at Old Trafford. Case Miro faces an uncertain future at United and the report claims he is interested in this new challenge, so only time will tell if a move to Saudi Arabia materializes. It has been tipped throughout the season, too. The biggest obstacle Al Nasser face is that they already have a full quota of foreign players. That means they will need to get rid of at least one of their foreign players before adding a player like Brazil. That said, I wouldn't be shocked if the Saudi Pro League changed their rules around foreign players if they are planning to invest more money on stars within game. Fabrizio Romano claims Manchester United youngster is closing in on move to League One side. Manchester United Academy star Dan Gore is set to join the list of players leaving the club on loan this month. Respected journalist Fabrizio Romano claims that Gore is closing in on a move to Port Vale, with the agreement close to being finalized. Gore had opportunities to impress Eric Ten Hag last summer on preseason and it is believed that the manager has high hopes for the young midfielder. He made his senior debut this season but with the Reds eliminated from the Carabao Cup in European competition, the schedule is a lot lighter and we've got more players returning from injury for the second half of the campaign. Port Vale is a good loan move for Gore so long as he gets plenty of game time at Vale Park. They will be aiming for better results than what they managed in the first half of the season, too, as they sit 15th in League One. More news on Gore's move to Port Vale when we have it. Jaden Sancho told he can still have a long-term future at Manchester United. Jaden Sancho can still have a long-term future at Manchester United according to former United defender Michael Silvestra. Following a public argument with manager Eric Ten Hag, Jadon Sancho was banished from all first-team activity at Manchester United. Since August, Sancho has not featured for the Red Devils. Ten Hag stated at the time that Sancho's exclusion from the team for the match against Arsenal was due to poor training standards in the days leading up to the match. Although many believe that Sancho has already played his final game for the team, former United defender Michael Silvestre believes that, should he do well in preseason next summer, Sancho may still have a future at United. I think Sancho can still have a long-term future at United. Things change a lot in football from one game to the next, so from six months to another season, things could change, he told betting expert. If he comes back for preseason and performs with the manager, he could have another go. I think his future is not 100% over with United, but it depends on him. He now needs to focus on performing for Dortmund. Since returning to Dortmund on loan, Jadon Sancho has only appeared in one game for the team. In that match, they defeated Darmstadt 3-0, and during that 35-minute play, he recorded an assist.